who is the national coordinator of the South South Leaders Forum, Sarah Igbe Anabs. Thank you so much for joining us on the media news. Let me start by asking you regarding the president's order to uh, order to the resignation of head of agencies, plus status ambassadors uh, interested in 2023 elections. This is coming right after when he told ministers to also resign. What do you make of the president's directive to the heads of um, agencies for our status, ambassadors, interested in the 2023 elections, and also the ministers? Do you think this is long overdue? Well, of course, uh, this is overdue because... Uh, Go ahead, I can hear you. Go ahead. Well, uh, I think it's long overdue because uh, uh, the law is very clear. As a politician, you must work with the law. Uh, the Electoral Act is the guiding law for the elections in Nigeria. Nigeria Constitution is the omnibus. Is the Constitution is the law of the own land. But the Nigeria Constitution says we must resign 30 days to election. It did not specify which election. And the Electoral Act is referring to primary election as the beginning of election. And we are asked to resign. I don't know why we must wait for Mr. President to ask us to resign. If you are to serve your people, and they said follow the law, you follow the law. I don't know why we have impunity in Nigeria, because we are a government, we don't want to build law. We can decide to do whatever we are, we are we like to do and wait for Mr. President directives to take place. The likes of the central bank governor, it's not, it's not supposed to even go to court. You want to go for a higher position, you resign and go for the, for the position. Why must you stay there until you are asked to go? It's quite unfortunate. If you cannot obey law, what will happen when you become president? There has been this conversation nationally about zoning the president to, you know, from the north to the south. And some are saying that it's okay if we have anybody who is largely competent, that we should talk more about competency rather than zoning of a uh, president to a particular region of the country. What's your opinion on this? Well, thank you very much. Nigeria is in... Uh, it's on the crossroad and... Uh, all we need is to do something that will bring peace into this country. We had a similar uh, situation in 1999 when Nigeria decided to zone the office to the west, the southwest. And uh, the likes of Ono won their party, but they were asked to come down for Falaye. And uh, Ambassador Joe was brought from the prison. To, to go for the PDP, and the Southwest had their day. Thereafter, it went to the North. Unfortunately, Yeradua died, and uh, it came back to the Vice President. The North also have it. Today, we have the North there. So I don't see any reason why uh, somebody will say, uh, why must you go to the South? Nigeria is not matured enough to talk of uh, uh, our experience or credibility or, or the best. Every region has the best material. Every region has credible material. But in the interest of peace, in the interest of getting the country along, in the interest of bringing down all the free nerves, we are saying follow the zoning. That will restore confidence. That will restore peace. If you go that way, I believe, we will get peace. Nigeria will come back to the drawing board, and time will come when nobody will ask us to zone or not to zone. But for now, zoning is very important, and we all expect all the parties to zone it. But if the parties refuse to zone it, then I think we are looking for something uh, more serious. So if, if in, the, uh, in the event the, the zoning comes down to south, w would you rather suggest a particular region within the south or just anywhere it goes in the south is that the point you're trying to make i had consistently maintained that uh when it comes to the south the southwest have taken their own share is the south south have taken part of their share 
The southeast has never taken their share at all. So it's only the good for southeast and the south south to go for this position. Unfortunately, I continue to maintain the southeast need to put the house in order. There are a lot of things that the southeast need to do to get the confidence of Nigerians to say if it gets to them, Nigeria will not be divided. Presently, with the activities of IPO, people are a bit suspicious of the southeast. South South is the brother to Southeast and the closest to Southeast. People are more comfortable with South South because South South has never wanted to say they want to leave Nigeria. The Southeast is saying they want to leave Nigeria, and part of Southwest is saying they want to leave, but they say Southwest prevailed on their people. The security, the level of insecurity in the Southeast against the Southeast is not also helping matters. So we need to put our house in order in the Southeast and the South South. So the Southwest is right. not supposed to think of it because they've had their own fair share and they started the race. Well, because I, if it goes to the South Southwest again, mm. it means it has gone round. Even if they're not, the South, South uh, North Central has not taken their share. Right. Right. So if it goes back to the North, the North Central people should be considered. That oh. is the only way we can think of equity, you can think of um, fairness. We must think of fairness right. at all times. Right. Be because, because if the Nigerian is under the egalitarian society, absolutely. where one person thinks they are more, right. they are better than the other group, right. you will not get the peace you, you did. Right. I'd love so to we need peace in Nigeria. And the only way I we can restore that peace is, is to go zoning for now. Your point is made. Your point is made. I would have loved to engage you on the, the, the issue around the um, former president, Goodluck Jonathan, but because of our time, we'll definitely have this conversation. You know, we'll continue. It's an ongoing conversation. We'll have you again to have this conversation again. Thank you very kindly. National Coordinator of the South-South Leaders Forum, Sarah Igbe Thank you. <laughs>